let's get into this. <clears throat> All right, so far I have what looks like a bomb. Not shabby, not shabby at all. Lightning Strike is definitely worth first picking. Uh, I don't see anything else here worth a damn. I think the person on my left is definitely picking the Lightning Strike. The bot on the left, I should say. I can't. I can't get past this for a lightning strike, can I? First, the first pick's always the hardest. Oh, come on, come on. What do you want to do? Yeah. Okay, that's a very solid ch choice. What else comes close? The Avon Wind Mage, very solid card. Yeah, it's not that hard. Green White, same as last time it's looking. Okay. What's the best here? I do like a good Colossal Dreadmore. Mirror Image, I've yet to see it be all that effective. Uh, Take Vengeance, it is removal. I think it's a bit overrated. Um, If you're desperate, yeah, if you're desperate. Sky Scanner, I do like a good Sky Scanner. Alright, I'm being past these good blue stuff. <sighs> Bristling Boar, if I'm trying to stick to my colours, but honestly, I'm not that tied to it. I'd rather take the Flyer. Giant Spider is solid, Cavalry Jewel Master is solid. I'm a big fan of Leon and Vanguard. I'm a big fan of Cavalry Jewel Master. Other than that, I'm not seeing anything here. Uh, it's a tough call out of those two. I think he's got a bit more versatility at this point. If I knew I had an aggressive deck, I'd probably go with a Vanguard. Someone's probably going to tell me I'm wrong. Okay, okay. I don't mind Goblin Instigator. I like the Ashino Pyromancer. Lightning Mare? Needs a very specific mana base to support it. Pyromancer. My colour's a bit all over the place at the moment, but that's okay. I'm happy to clean that up as we go on. I'd rather pick solid cards. Omen Speaker, for sure. Easy. Um, yep. Thick Boy. You know what, I haven't been upset with Knight's Pledge. Hasn't gone badly. It's not enough for removal. Oaken Form is better. <laughs> I should pick Oaken Form over Knight's Pledge. Although with the... I'm not sure how viable green's going to be for me. Daybreak Chaplain is very solid. Yeah, I might actually go for that. Go with the creature. Okay. Thick Boy again. Who needs two Thick Boys? The Minotaur. Three Thick Boys. No. Is it trying to tell me something? Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. Oh, it's these choices that just make you wonder, isn't it? Um, Alright. Three drops. Five drops is probably more useful. Seems like I'm more likely to go in those colours. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. What am I looking? I've got a lot of everything except black. And what do I get? I get a black bomb. 
and not much else worth taking. Rabbit Bite, as I said before, is a very nice card. Aviation Pioneer, I like. Uh, yeah, he's okay. Elf Reju Elvish Rejuvenator is fine. Man, man, it's a good card. Is that worth taking at this point after all? You know what it is. It is. Let's just see what see what happens. I do realize that I need to turn this into something playable quite soon. I think green can be effectively cut. At some point I should take some lands to help me out. Looks like blue-white is viable. Blue-white, red. Something along those lines. What do we have in here? Bugler is a solid card. This is okay. This is okay. Essence Scatter is okay. Uh, you know I like a Sky Scanner. I think the Bugler... Yeah. Yeah, no, sorry. Nothing's happening here. See, good removal is so hard to come by. I have a cage. Not upset with that at all. Yeah, probably a bad move. Angel of the Dawn, my favorite card. My hero from my last game. Okay, looks like sort of a white, red, or white, blue, a white anything really. That's, that's thick. That's the definition of thickness. I don't think I'm going anywhere near seven mana. I don't know if I'm going anywhere near green. Um, this isn't that bad either. There's a lot of versatility in there, chucking a land away for a couple of creatures. Late game, mid game. Sure strike. It's stronger combat triggers. Generally comes around. Bristling ball. I don't know if I'm trying to avoid green now. No, my green is still better than my red. You know what, green is actually still my, my better of, of my colours. Hmm. Inspired Charge. Not too bad with what I've kind of got going on at the moment. Aviation Pioneer, I do like that as well. Blanchwood Armour, probably not if I'm going to be light on green. Mind Rot, yeah, no. Two-Headed Zombie, hmm. Mm, yeah, it's not happening. Titanic Growth, Bristling Boar, good choices, all good choices. So, I think green, white, possibly white, blue. Another one will come around, right? This is pack two. Another one will come around. We're going for the Pioneer. It's fine. It's fine. I should be taking these lands. Got these creatures. going green? Am I going blue? I can't decide. I'm definitely going white. My green's still better. Green, white, green, white. Like just... Yeah, which means I go for the growth. Or am I aggressive enough to go for the Highland game? I don't think so. I think Titanic growth's a solid card. Alright, yeah. 
it's a sign. It's a sign. Go green light. That's what, that's what the game is telling me. Elvish Rejuvenator or Dwarven Priest. Both did quite well for me last last draft. I think the Elvish Rejuvenator did a bit better for me. I don't quite have the finishes that I had last time. But I still think it's worth it. Smoothing things out. Splash blue. Nothing worth it at the moment. As long as you control blue creature, that's hella useful, isn't it? Red, am I giving up on red? Yep, I think I am. I think it's the best choice. I honestly do. Hey, look, they all, all the cards I wanted came back. Form it is. Look, I had Highland games in my side, two of them in my sideboard last time, and I was playing an aggressive white red deck. Right, white green. Yep. solid cards here. I could pick switcheroo, I can splash it without too much difficulty. Declare dominance is an amazing card. I should, I should take declare dominance. I should. <laughs> I should. Alright, white, blue, black. I'm playing white, blue, black. Nothing can change my mind. White, white, blue, black. Yeah, I've never, I've never run this guy before. Ah, uh, okay. White, blue, black. White, blue, black. White, blue, black. Not green. I've picked so many green cards. I've got them, but I don't give a damn. White, blue, black. It is probably means I want this. I have enough play. But I'm actually looking at the boneyard. I need that minor fixing. Sleep. Pegasus. Pegasus. Okay, Esper colors. Esper colors. I wanted the inspired charge before, but I don't anymore. White, blue, black. Can't look past these omen speakers, they're really solid. They're gonna be exactly what I need to pull this thing off. White, blue, black. Do I wanna start? Do I wanna run more black creatures? I don't mind the Doom to center. I don't have any auras or equipments that's going to help that guy out, although I don't mind them on defense. I don't mind them on defense either. And this guy's actually a 5 minus 5 5 now if I'm playing my blue guys. I don't have many blue guys. Let's try and try and make the black happen. Yep. Yep. Yep, we're turning this into a thing, although I probably should take the divination, shouldn't I? Fourth Omen Speaker. Divination smooths things out too well. Ah, uh, what do I have in my top end? Him, 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 her, her. I was saying this card is solid. Don't actually know how my deck is coming through at the moment. Sea Serpent for six. I can go without, I think. I have enough three drops. Boom, boom, boom. I actually think this is the right choice here. Yep. Easy pickings. Yep. Sure. Sure. Boom. Ah, didn't know that happened. Okay, 
white, blue, black. So let's get rid of all red and green cards. I'm going to regret this. Alright, what have I lost? I've lost some mana fixing. I've lost a bomb. But other than that, not that much. Now, what do I have? I have a very clunky three color deck. I really split in the middle because I didn't know what I was doing. Oh yeah, let's check out the chuck out the unplayables. Boom. This is this is okay. <sighs> okay, Vanguard's good, good. Mm. This is what I'm wondering about. Is it worth having Macaba Waltz in what's essentially like a kind of mid-range control-ish sort of deck? It's not even control. This is a mid-range deck. This was a bad idea. It's not... The ability to turn a land into two creatures is very strong, but when you want the land to play your single bomb in your deck, which you picked, yeah, let's look at the rest. What are my three drops like? One, two, three, four, five. Six. Scholar or Linebreaker? I think the Scholar is better for me. Awakener. It's suggesting five black sources, and I'm trying to run a double black. I don't have to play him third turn for him to be good. Sky Scanner. Ah, oh, it's good. I don't have to play him third turn to be good. I'm holding on to him, considering it's essentially another bomb. Dwarven Priest, Cage, Angel, Gearsmith, Gearsmith. How many blue creatures am I actually running? One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, it's actually going to be a solid card. 42 cards, need to cut two. How did it do my lands? That actually looks pretty solid. Life length. I have no way to pump it up. No, I do. I have the Cavalry Drill Masters would save me. I have two charred knights. Bink. Do you need three omen speakers? Yes, yes you do. Do I need to have a Telerian scholar? I don't think so. I don't think I do. I think I'm happy with this now. What are my maybes? These are the three, three of my maybes. We are done. Doesn't make much sense for his face to be there at the moment. Let's chuck you in. Oh, let's see how we go. Uh, 